Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in to another tutorial. Today we're gonna to be getting into the super cute colorful look. The summertime's rolling around and it's time to just pull out all the colorful looks, you know what I mean? So yeah, we're gonna be working with lots of color today for today's makeup look. I also have a new wig that I'm gonna be installing showing you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that little notification bell, that way you get notified anytime that I make a new upload. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Let's get into it. <laughs> so like I mentioned before, I do have a new wig that I'm going to be installing today. Thank you so much to OMG Her Hair Company for sponsoring today's video and sending over this wig that we're going to be installing. This is her. She is giving all of the feels. It's just a flawless like kinky curly wig. It's got this gorgeous like reddish brown color. It's so so pretty. This wig is just oh it's just everything. I love it so much. So let's go ahead and jump into this hair install. So as always, I'm going to be using my favorite lace adhesive. You guys already know what it is. It's from Evan. It's their Extreme Holds lace adhesive. This is the only lace adhesive that I have been like using for like the last who knows how long. It's just, <laughs> it's my go-to. It's my favorite. You guys have probably heard me say this before, but it is water soluble, meaning it comes off super easily with just water alone. I'm definitely someone that likes to take my wigs off at night. I do not like to go to sleep in my wigs. They're, that's just mad uncomfortable to to me so I like to be able to take them off at night and having like a lace adhesive that just comes off really easily with water is the go-to but it's still such an amazing lace adhesive for the day it still holds on to my wigs really well even when it's like super humid and hot outside you guys know I used to live in Miami and that is like the definition of hot and humid that place so and even then it was still like holding up all of my wigs. <laughs> Anyways, let me give you some details about this wig. So like I mentioned before, this wig is from ONG, her hair company. This is a HD lace wig. She has super fine HD lace. I didn't do any bleaching to this wig at all and the hairline was already like plucked away. So I definitely didn't have to do much to kind of like customize this wig to make sure it looks good when I installed it. I did do just a little bit of plucking, but that's because I got like a funny hairline. Like I feel like my forehead is just really oddly <laughs> really weird oddly shaped and stuff so i did have to do some extra plucking but that's pretty much it this wig is perfect also if you enjoy a glueless install it has an upgraded wig cap so it fits more comfortably and more securely on the head the wig that i'm wearing has a, a 13 by 6 lace frontal so you're getting plenty of parting space i definitely wanted to style this wig into like a cute little half up half down style and do like a center part and as you guys can see there's plenty of space to do any type of styling with this unit she is 20 inches with 150% density, and this is going to be in their auburn color. I'm going to leave all of the information for this unit, as always, down below the description box for you guys. So if you have any questions, just make sure to check there. There's also going to be an exact link to the wig that I'm wearing if you want to go ahead and check it out on the website.
So I just kept it pretty simple when it comes to styling. I didn't do any edges, shocking. It's very rare when I don't style my edges. Usually I'll do like a cute little swoop here and there, but today I was just kind of like, eh, I'll just kind of keep it super simple with like the style and just do like the half up, half down and do like my little bangs in the front and call it a day. I did use some styling products to define the curls as well. I just use the ISO Plus wrapping foam and a little bit of this hair gel that I got from my local beauty supply store. I think you can also find this hair gel in Target. I've seen it there as well, but it's really inexpensive. It comes in like this huge tub. It's like my go-to hair gel. And I feel like it works pretty well considering like how inexpensive it is. But other than that, I just wanted to kind of keep this hairstyle super cute. Kind of just let the curls do all the talking because they are so, so pretty. So that'll be it for the hair install. Thank you again to OMG Hair Company for sending over this unit. Now that we are all done with the hair, let's go ahead and move into this makeup look. So as you guys know, I've been like on the hunt for new makeup. If you guys watched my last video, I bought a ton of new drugstore makeup and I found so much good stuff. So it kind of like inspired me to just continue to try to like revamp like my makeup products that I've been using. First product that I'm going to be using to uh, start this makeup look is a new product primer from NYX. This is the Marshmallow Primer. I really, really love this primer. It's really nice. <laughs> This one definitely has more of like a smoothing effect to the skin. So if you're someone that likes to have like that super flawless, you know, smooth skin, this is definitely a primer that I think that you should probably go ahead and try. We've got a new foundation from NARS today. This one is their light reflecting foundation and I'm using the shade Tahoe if you need me as a color reference. I really, really love this foundation. It has like a medium coverage, so it's not like too heavy. I love the fact that it has like this natural like skin like finish to it it's not like overly dewy but it's also not like super super matte or anything like that it's just like that perfect balance it's giving skin <laughs> It's giving, it's giving skin. The concealer that I'm using is gonna be from Hourglass. This is their Vanish Airbrush Concealer. So the thing with this concealer is that I love the formula. The formula is amazing. I love the coverage. Thing is, is that I've been having a really hard time trying to find a shade that I really love. This shade that I'm using today is called Beach. And this one was okay, but I kind of wanted it to be more on like the warmer side, like more yellow. And I feel like this one kind of ran more neutral. I'm then gonna go ahead and do some cream contouring using this foundation stick from Black Opal. I mentioned in my last video that I went over to Ulta and found Black Opal in Ulta, which is so wild. Like that was like my first time seeing Black Opal in Ulta. I've never seen it there before, but I was so happy about it because these foundation sticks are amazing. I used to use them all the time in the past to like do my cream contouring. So the fact that it's just like in Ulta now and a lot more accessible is amazing. And then I went ahead and went in with my liquid blush. So the one that I'm using is from NYX. This is their Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint, and I'm using a combination of two colors. One of them is Almost Famous, and I think the other one is Coralicious, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Coralicious. But yeah, I use a mixture of like these two colors on the cheeks to do like my base for my blush. Blush is always like the first thing to go when it comes to makeup. So having like that liquid blush underneath your powder just kind of gives it a little bit of extra reinforcement so it doesn't fade as quickly. I'm then gonna set using using my favorite setting powder from Chanel. While I was at Ulta, I made sure to re-up on my Chanel powder because I was just, in, I was in need guys, I was in need. I'm not gonna use a ton of that powder, it's just to set um, to do like my first layer of setting powder before I go in with my bake. We're using a new bronzer. This one's from NARS. This is going to be their Laguna bronzing powder in shade Laguna number no. eight. I was definitely in need of a new bronzer. This one from NARS is really good. And then I'll use the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in shade Cassava to bake. I always like to bake after I'm done with my bronzer because you guys already know I'm not huge into like contouring the nose. So what I'll do is I'll just add like some bronzer onto the nose and then just kind of like add my bake to the very sides and the bridge of the nose. And once I dust off the bake, it'll kind of create like a highlight within that bronzer. It's kind of like a reverse contour type of situation because I can't be bothered with like drawing the lines and like blending it out and make sure it's not too harsh and all this other stuff. I'm just like, nah, it's too much. <laughs> 
So I always like to do my bake right after I'm done adding my bronzer. For my powder blush, I also use a combination of two different colors to kind of complement the two different shades of like NYX blushes that I use. So the orangey one that I have here is from Beauty Bakery. This is their Snack Runes blush in the shade Hey Pumpkin. It's gonna give like a really cute like orange type of vibe. And then I have a more corally colored one from Benefit. This one is their, what is this called again? I don't know, but it comes in a very cute box and it's in the shade Krista. <laughs> yeah, this one's cute too. It's got more of like a corally type of color to it. And then from there, I'll take a break with the skin and move right into this eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows first. This one, uh, the brow products that I've been using are pretty much like same, same. I'm using the KVD, the KVD Brow Pomade in shade Walnut to fill in my brows. And then I'll set the brow hairs using a Maybelline brow gel. Then moving into the eyes, I'm gonna first prime using my favorite eyeshadow primer from Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is their Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Base. It's like my go-to eyeshadow primer. It works for me, so I don't change it. <laughs> I'm gonna set that with a little bit of powder as well, just to make sure that all of the eyeshadows that I apply in the crease area blend out super smoothly. So um, just a little bit of translucent powder right after the primer. The first color that I'm going to use for this eyeshadow look is going to be from the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival 3 palette. It, this was done in collaboration with Stacey Marie. These palettes are iconic and I still use them because they just have literally every single color that you could possibly ask for. So I'm using the shade Grape and I'm going to use it as like my first transition color. I'm applying that using like a smaller, fluffier type of brush. I'm gonna start in the outer corner and just kind of build the color up from there and start to apply it into the crease as well. I'm also gonna add that onto the lower lash line to start building up that smokiness on the lash line too. Then for the crease, I'm gonna be using a separate eyeshadow palette from Melt Cosmetics. I made sure to add a little bit of like powder on the under eye area, like the outer portion of it, because this eyeshadow that I'm gonna use next is really dark. And just to kind of catch like any type of like fallout that might happen. Um, so I use this shade called Dim Out from the Melt Cosmetics Blueprint palette. So I'm gonna use that color next. And kind of similar to the first color, I'm gonna start in the outer corner and then I'll work my way into the crease. And just remember when you're using bold colors like these, just take your time, there's no rush, you know what I mean? Like just take your time building up the colors um, so that way you get that really nice beautiful blend. I'm going to add a little bit of this liquid eyeshadow from About Face onto the lid. I really wanted to add like a base on the lid before I went in with like my metallic eyeshadow. The next eyeshadow is also from the Blueprint palette from Melt Cosmetics. It's the shade King Stud and I'm gonna apply that on to the lid right on top of that liquid eyeshadow that we previously applied. And kind of similar to the crease colors, I'm just gonna build this color up really slowly so I start getting that really beautiful shine. And then for just a little bit of extra glow and kind of like dimension, I'm gonna go in with a slightly lighter shade of blue. This one is the shade Deadbolt and I'm gonna place that just on the center of the lid. So the look is almost complete. I'm gonna go in with some liners now. This one's from LA Girl. This is their automatic like retractable eyeliner pencil in shade Super Bright. It's just like a cute little beige. So I'm just gonna pop that onto the waterline. And then I'm gonna switch over to a black eyeliner pencil from Huda Beauty. This is their Creamy Coal eyeliner and it's in the shade Very Vanta. I'm gonna use this to create like a really subtle like smoky liner on the top lash line. So I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner pencil Pencil first and then I'll use that dark blue from the Melt Cosmetics palette that shade dim out and use that particular shadow to just kind of blend out the edges so it has like a nice cute little smoky effect. And then to brighten up the inner corner I'm gonna go in with a really small detailing brush with the shade Skylight. And 
that'll be it for the eyes. I'm just going to go in with some mascara and my lashes. The mascara that I'm using is from Il Maquillage. I'm going to add that to the top and bottom lashes and then I'll just pop on my falsies. So these little lashes are from Lily Lashes and they are in the style Milan. It's got like a cute little flare type of situation going on at the end. So it gives the eye that little bit of lift on the outer corner that I'm so in love with. So that's it for the eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the skin and then I'll go into like my little lip combo. I'm just going to add some highlighter and then to start lining the lips I'm going to use my two favorite lip pencils right now from NYX Cosmetics. These are the Line Loud Lip Pencils in shade Total Baller and Rebel Kinds. I'm going to go in with that lighter shade first and then I'll use the darker shade to do like my little contouring type of situation on the outer edge. And then to fill in the lips, I'm using the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream, and this one is the shade Pancake Stacks. I've been really loving these little lip creams. They're so, so pigmented, and they're just like super smoothing, and they just make your lips look amazing. <laughs> But yeah, if you haven't tried these, definitely like give them a try. I highly recommend these. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply that and then just blend it into the lip liner super well. Um, I did want to go in with a gloss today too. So I used one from ColourPop. This is their So Juicy Gloss in the shade She's Here. So I'm just going to pop that onto the lips too. And you guys know me. I love a nude and it just works so well when you're doing like a super colorful eye look. Like nude lips with a colorful eye. Beautiful chef's kiss. <laughs> and then finally, I'm going to finish up this look using some setting spray. This one's from ColourPop. It's their no filter setting spray. One outfit change later, and this is the finished look. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's hair and makeup tutorial. Definitely let me know what you think of the look down below in the comments, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'm so excited to be jumping back into color for the summertime, so if you have any like color combinations that you want to see, definitely let me know in the comments as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Sending all my love and hopefully I will see you in the next one.